to whoop or save space here. We'll draw one up here. Four carbons. Two carboxylic acids right on the end. See, look, we're experts at this now, right? One colored all the way in, one's going to have a red dot in it. Up here. One with a red dot. Do the red dot now. Good marker. We're going to do this in style for y'all. So here we come. Fumarate, just a dicarboxylic acid. There's the two acids. Now I got to find out because there is a double bond on this thing, and it's going to be a cis or a tran kind of deal. So they don't address that issue. We will at some point. Color in the green. Now those carbons are done. Let's color those in because we got to think about something here. Terminal carbon. Terminal carbon. There's a rule about counting a carbon chain by what's got the most elaborate group is where you start with the number one. But this is identical. So either side you started on, it wouldn't matter. Now, you know what's beautiful about this molecule? There's a double bond in here. I don't see my colored pencil. So there's one bond, two bonds. Two H's. These are our pencils here. Like I said, I started with the colored pencils. I wasn't too impressed. Now I love them. Hone in a little bit here. See if we can get you focused in on some of this. Back up so you can see the name. Fumarate. Four carbons. And that's it. Color it in. Now. You know, it's neat. Look, this turns out to be so simple. Because remember I said it's going to make an arginine out of what's left out of it? So just the way the molecules fall took fumarate off. The way the side chain is, this is the amino acid. That's the Schroeder diamond right there. That has one, two, three. Move that. It's arginine. Is that cool or what? So let's. this is our fourth reaction. This is the end of the urea cycle, kids. We made it. So arginine, I'm going to write it <laughs> pink. How about that? Arginine, is this going to show up here? Arginine is an amino acid, remember? Arginine. Let me come back and script. And there I just filled it in. Okay. We see... One, two, three, four, five carbons, and then the end chain. So we got a molecule that long that we're going to need to fit here. So let's draw it in an angle going that way. We've got the five carbons going to a triangle. So let's see here. It's going to be a carboxylic acid on the end, so we're going to leave room to put the oxygen. So one. Two, three, four. I'm sure taking up a lot of space. I didn't want to do that. Five. All right, this is a cool molecule. I love this. Okay, so we got a nitrogen in the middle. Draw it bigger, Randog. Big N. And we got a diamond that's going to hold two more ends. So let's draw the diamond here. 